time. Uh, not too yep. far away, right? So we thought we'd check out the lunchroom, but this is not any school. That's right. Michelle Oliver takes us to dine in the D at a restaurant in Ann Arbor serving up homemade comfort food with a mm. twist. Just a little twist. Just off of Fifth Avenue, hidden in the Carytown Courtyard, is the lunchroom. So a lunchroom, like in your high school cafeteria, everybody went to the lunchroom. Everybody would eat there. And that's where you would go and you'd find your friends and your community was there. And we wanted it to be a place where everybody felt comfortable. Neighbors and friends Phyllis Engelbert and Joel Pinozo started this quaint place because they love to cook. We started by taking baby steps. We put on d dinner parties for our friends. We did a series of pop-up meals, and then we graduated to a food cart. We had a food cart for two years, and then we moved into our present location in 2013, three years ago. Here, they serve up dishes that are flavorful, creative, and 100% vegan. Obviously, it's all plant-based food. We have no meat or dairy. We have a lot of what you'd consider traditional comfort foods like macaroni and cheese, and we have burritos, we have a banh mi sandwich, and then we have some like deli type things, like we have a Reuben, but it's a tempeh Reuben. And since all their dishes are vegan, they have to make a lot of things in-house. Every sauce, every dressing, every cheese. We make all of our own breads, our meats. The things you would think about just slapping together for a sandwich that you would just buy, we make all those things that get slapped together into the sandwich. And don't worry, if you're not a vegan, you're not alone. A very small percentage of our customers are vegan or even vegetarian for that matter. Like I would put it really low, like under 5%, because we talk to people all the time. And most people who come here tell us they come just because they like the food. To see what made their food so good, I went into the kitchen with Joel to make a fan favorite, the Power Up Bowl. We start with some onions, red bell peppers, and tofu. So all of our tofu, we marinate at least 24 hours in um, sesame oil, ginger, garlic, tamari, and sriracha. Then onto the stove top they go. As that's cooking, Joel shows me how to make a fan out of an avocado. We're gonna take our paring knives and slice all the way down the avocado around the pit. And then we're gonna turn it and hopefully expose a beautiful avocado. Yours is prettier than mine. How can you tell? <laughs> and then you can put your paring knife down on your pit and turn that out. That's yeah. so much easier than like when I normally try to remove it, I'm normally like grabbing yeah, at yeah, it and no, I no. ruin the pretty. Yeah, don't ruin the pretty. Thing. All right, and then slice it down the middle? Yes. We're gonna remove the skin and we're just gonna peel up and off. And we're gonna try to cut as thin slices as we can all the way down. So you're gonna use your thumbs to spread out the avocado so you can expose the lighter flesh. Just like that. Yeah. Then we check on the veggies and steam up some kale. We've been growing vegetables this summer, so this is actually kale that we grew at what we've been calling Luncher Makers. And then we're gonna season it. Now we can begin to put the dish together. We start by putting the kale atop a bed of brown rice and add the sauteed veggies and tofu. Next, we drizzle on a maple Dijon dressing and top it with our avocado fan. Finally, we sprinkle on some roasted walnuts for extra protein. I joke around about it. This is the thing that's gonna be powering you up through your afternoon. Joining us now is Joel Panazzo, who's one of the owners of the lunchroom. Congratulations Thank on you. all your success. <laughs> yeah, it's been a it's been a wild ride for sure. Yeah, not an overnight deal for sure, but no. you've brought a wonderful spread for us. And yeah. I have to admit to you, I've been shifting my diet toward vegetables, and this is one of the morning interviews where I th I would wish I had a fork for every. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? very true. We can very find true. you a fork. Okay, so. we'll <laughs> find one. So then tell us about what you've brought with you. Like, so let's start from here. That looks yeah. Good. So um, we tried to bring a selection. We do a number of different things out of the restaurant, from soups to salads to sandwiches to wraps to noodle dishes mm -hmm. and here we have a crowd favorite which is our, our burrito bowl so this mm -hmm. is like our deconstructed version of our burrito nice. um, and that comes with um, a side of our homemade cashew sour cream oh yeah oh. so it's got the a little bit of a bite to it and it's it's got the it's still the same creaminess that you're looking for and 
cow's milk mm -hmm. sour cream. And then um, we do our, our own mac and cheese that we make the sauce in house and it's based out of butternut That's squash so and, so get the full and red bell pepper. That. Oh, look at this. They brought forks. <laughs> Delicious. Tati. Thank you. Um, so that we do um, two different ways. We do it just the mac and then we do it the chili mac version. And then up here we have our another crowd favorite which is our Reuben sandwich. Oh yeah. And um, what and else what's is the on base? There what kind coleslaw. of Yeah, what's the base? The meat so, base. Yeah, the the meat of the sandwich is is, uh, is it tempeh which okay. is a soy uh, it's just soybean and yeah. um, it's a cracked soybean patty that we then thinly slice and marinate at least 24 hours. Um, and that's um, locally made in Ann Arbor at the Brinery, along with Brinery Sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a crowd favorite. The banh mi here is on our fresh baguette that we bake every single day oh, in-house. So um, the banh- you guys bake a lot of things. We bake a lot of things. We also bake our own bagels mm -hmm. our, and all of our bakery the products that you see here. <laughs> and what about this one? Because we know that's mac yes. and cheese with chili. Yeah, and yeah. then this is our pad thai. So it's um, oh. it's a fresher version of a, a, of a Thai classic. May I try some? You may oh, try some. some. What's the sauce there? made from? The sauce is made from coconut milk and peanuts, okay. and then it's got a lot of ginger and garlic mm. and tamari in there. So then we top it with fresh veggies, and then here you're seeing our um, this is when people come into the restaurant and they say, I want vegetables. Mm. I point them to our lumberjack salad, which is just full of veggies. All kinds of wonderfulness. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All of these are vegan as well. All, the All of these are vegan. Nice. And then even some of the things that we do are gluten-free. Like this is our gluten-free mm -hmm. Funfetti cupcake. Cheesecake. Cheesecake. Vegan yeah. cheesecake. pumpkin Lord cheesecake. <laughs> I'm like so excited. You know what the thing I love about this is that you've got vegan food, but it's not all the fake meat stuff that I mm -hmm. overindulged right. in, so mm -hmm. it looks great. But no, thank you so much for being yeah. here. We're yeah. going to eat. So the recipe for the Power Up Bowl that Michelle cooked up in the piece, we will post that on our webpage at clickondetroit.com following the show. If you want to try out the lunchroom, we are giving away a $50 gift card. Oh, Go to our Live in the D Facebook page for contest rules. Visit clickondetroit.com. We're about to grub on this food. Yeah. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Jason, over to you. Pumpkin cheese. Yeah, and I, I want to know why soy sauce is so delicious, but soy patty? doesn't taste like soy sauce. I want to figure that out. I'll help you. We're on a we're on a journey together. <laughs> <laughs> right.